Okay, yes. because you just left your seven-year-old daughter alone for six hours. Right. You understand that, right? I understand that. So let's be honest with us when we ask you questions. Don't touch me. I'm, I'm going to yank it out, and I'm going to yank you out if you don't come out on your own. Don't give me Then you almost hit a curb. Then you made a left-hand turn here onto A Street, again, not using your turns. On the 15th of September, 2023, a 19-year-old Mered Quigley got pulled over by a Pullman police officer for reckless driving. Pullman, of course, I'll take a second. Hi. Hello. Hi. My name's Officer Westman. Stop okay. is being recorded. The reason you're being stopped was a few things. So, when you turned onto California Street, okay. you didn't use your turn signal. Then you almost hit a curb. Then you made a left-hand turn here onto A Street, again not using your turn signal. Okay, I'm Were sorry. Were you just distracted by something? I just, I'm sorry, I usually... Okay. We're here uh, okay. frequently, so okay. sorry. I, um, I see you have blood coming down your hand. What's going on with that? Oh, that's a Are you personal okay? reason, yeah. Are you sorry. okay? I'm fine. Right. Did you cut yourself? Yep. How long ago? I don't really think that's any of your business. I'm sorry. Right, I'm just concerned. No, that's fine. No, I'm just here to... Okay. That's... Do you have your driver's license with you? I do. Wait. I don't have my wallet with me, actually. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you have your registration and insurance for the car? Is, well, that... Go one direction! Hello? Yep. What do you, what do you mean? I need you to focus on the task at hand. Your phone call is not the okay, priority. Sorry, I gotta go. I'm sorry, but... What's up? I need your registration insurance for the okay. vehicle. Um, How old are you? Nineteen. Okay. I think, okay. The officer, upon approaching the vehicle, detected the smell of alcohol, leading him to suspect that Quigley was driving under the influence. When asked to perform sobriety tests, Quigley refused, resulting in her arrest for DUI based on the officer's observations. I have the right at this time to talk to an attorney and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one of you will be appointed to represent you without cost if you so desire. Tell him to decide. get my car at least, Joey. You can decide at any time. He's in there. Tell him to get my car Not at least. Not to make any statements or answering. Today is the Joey. 15th of September, 2023. It is 0128 no, I hours. I don't have my car yes. anything. She said it was a personal reason. She didn't want to talk to me about it. Okay, we're going to walk to the rear of my patrol car. Do you have anything on you that would be stick or stab me, like a pocket knife, needles, something of that sort? Nope. Okay. Do you have pockets on your skirt? No. Or are these shorts? No. Okay. Can I at least have my relax. phone? Relax, please. Please, relax. Fighting this is not going to change anything. I need you to relax, okay? Not at the moment. I'll come talk to you in a second. Have a seat. Would you like medics to come look at your wrist? No. Okay. Can you just, why are you arresting me? You are under arrest for operating a vehicle while under the influence of alcohol to the point that it's impaired your drive. Right. I'm red. Do you want me to get your phone for you? Like I can use it? Um. Well, you can have it with you. He's probably going to take you to the, yes. the police station. You probably want to have it. With Why you. am I? Okay, can I ask? You guys have not had any like official for DUI. Yes. Why are you guys arresting me? Like, may I ask? Like, you guys have no official like information of why you're arresting me. Oh, well, he has to go by his observation. Which is what? At the police station. The breathalyzer test revealed a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0 0.179, well above the legal limit. Can I get 
it out? Yep. Alright. Stand to the right of the door so I can get the next door for you. Up to that brown chair in front of you. Do you want me to sit in it, stand in it, or what? I don't want you to stand in it, but you can have a seat. Can you take these off, please? Can I have my phone? Nope. Why? Because that's not part of the process. Okay, how. I don't want to be here for the rest of the night. I'm. Regardless if you provide a sample or not, you're going to be here for the majority of the evening. Are you kidding me? Not one bit. So whether you provide the sample or not does not change that fact. You're under the age of 21. You've consumed a fair amount of alcohol to the point that you're impaired. That? Based on my observations. Based on your observations, right. Okay. So... If I say no, then what? If I say ne if I say yes, then what? If you say yes, then we do the two samples, just as I described in this document. If you say no, I mark it as a refusal, and I continue with the paperwork. Then if you mark it as a refusal, then what? Then it can be used in a criminal trial. Why don't I just read this document again? Because you have questions about exactly no, what we said. No, I heard what you said, but I want to hear, like, a, if I say yes, this. If I say no, that. Exactly what I just asked, right? So, if you provide a breath, we're going to do the machine. After that, you're going to go in that holding cell for up to six hours. If you mark, no, that you don't want to do the breath, you're going to go in that cell for up to six hours. Same result. The difference is what the Department of Licensing does with your driver's license. Which is what? I'm going to reread this document nope. because Can it you explains just tell it. Me, please? I'm not allowed to interpret this. What do I have to do to just breathalyzes and leave. I don't want to be here. Like, is there any way I can just be like, boom, whatever, you take my license away and I go, please. I, I really just don't want so, to be here. My plan what? is, as long as you don't have any warrants for your arrest and you don't have a prior DUI, I then I'm not booking you into the county jail. Just please, like... Okay. Alright, so we'll go back to the question. Will you now I'm submit fine. to just a breath go, test? That's fine. I just okay. want to... I just want to go, okay? Like, what's the soonest I can get out of here? Please, I don't want to get So the soonest you can get out of here is probably about 4 a.m. It's 2 a.m. right now. That's two hours. The incident highlights the officer's meticulous approach and adherence to protocol in handling potential DUI cases, emphasizing the consequences individuals may face for driving under the influence. Call the court, their website, mail address, all right here. The reason that's important is if they assign you a court date and you don't show up, there'd be a warrant for your arrest. This piece of paper is your copy of the breath sample. Again, just shows the results of your two breath samples. This piece of paper is called your conditions of release. So when I release you here, this is what you have to follow. So anytime someone's arrested for DUI, they have to be in court the next court day. It's not your trial or anything, but it's an initial appearance. They'll tell you what you're being charged with, they'll give you information. You have to be there. If you don't show up, there's a warrant for your arrest. So it's today, the 15th, the at 1 p.m. I have PM. to be there today? Yep. Wait, what? That's not, I have class today. No, you have court today. What, in, what, here? So, listen. Today, 1 p.m., Colfax, Washington. That's fucking bullshit. I have class today, and I have important No, it's today. not bullshit. Professors. You committed a crime. You need to be in court. Are you going to show up for court? If you say no, I book you in a jail. Yeah, I'm going to go to court. Excellent. That's the right choice. Yeah. Your appearance at the above time and location is mandatory and it may not be waived. Your failure to personally appear for this hearing or failure to comply with the below conditions of release shall result in the immediate issuance of a bench warrant for your arrest. So when I let you go, until you see the judge, this is what you have to do. 
Pending this hearing, the court has ordered that you comply with the following conditions of release. One, you should not possess or consume alcohol or unprescribed controlled substances. Two, you should not drive a motor vehicle without a valid license with while suspended or revoked and without required liability insurance or compliance with applicable responsibility laws. I promise to appear. I have received a copy of this notice and I understand the above conditions of release and I promise to comply and appear as directed above. Okay? You understand where you have to be and what time? If you don't, then we'll just go to your class or your house and arrest you and then take you to jail. It would not be awesome. signatures from them. First one's your fingerprint card, goes off to the FBI. Second one is a disposition sheet used by the court to track the progress of your case. You can start putting your property back on. footage serves as critical evidence in documenting the arrest and subsequent BAC results, underscoring the role of law enforcement in ensuring road safety. If you thought this was harsh, well, how about a drunk mother who abandoned her own daughter? On the 29th of October, 2023, Veronica Elliott, a Florida mother, found herself in legal trouble when her seven-year-old daughter wandered into a bar seeking assistance just after 2 a.m. Okay, you want to sit in that comfy booth with them? You want to yeah. sit with us? Yeah. It's okay. Where's this SpongeBob ice cream? It melted. It melted. You let it. You let them just melt all away. What's your mom's name? Um, her name is Veronica Roxanne. Yes. Veronica, what was the last name? Roxanne. Roxanne. Bell. Bell. Okay. Her name is Roxanne, and her last name is Bell. You're awesome you're at so this. You Where's your mommy at? Sit next to me if you need to, okay? I don't know. You don't know? You what? said you walked from your car. Yeah, because um, she, I fell asleep during it, and then she hasn't been there ever since. Because we um, got there and like kept mm -hmm. it, and then, and then I, my mom said it wouldn't be long, and then she. Um, after like five to ten minutes, she she just haven't came back. Okay. Where is your car around here somewhere? Um, yeah, it's over there. I can show you it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Easy way to solve this. Run the tag on the car. Get mom's name. Get mom's address. Would you emergency like contact number. We'll yes, I will walk with you if that's okay. <laughs> can I walk with her? Yeah, of course. We're doing super. Yeah, well, you're doing so good. <laughs> Okay. I'm coming with you. Now we're around here. It's okay. You show us wherever it is, okay? These guys are just helping us. Okay? Okay. You tell them anything that you feel like you need to tell them. Okay? And they found skydive the land. Oh boy. Phone. You found Skydive the land? Phone? You got the phone and Oh, yeah. Left your phone and her Can you see that light over there? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, those are the keys. It's the keys. Okay. Do you want to give it to this night? Yeah. He's going to help us out, okay? She can maybe be in any of these buildings. She walked off to one, but I can't see where because she turned the lights off. Okay. 
Has this ever happened before? Um, no. She never leaves the car without me. No? Okay. She said it's something really important. And she said it would be a real quick when it hasn't because it was like, was like five to ten minutes. Which way did you say she walked? Um, I couldn't see because she turned the, the lights off, every single one. Okay. okay. But you don't remember which way she walked when she mm -hmm. left the car? No. The stressed child revealed that her mother had left her alone in the car. People around, but I saw that spark. I thought it was just a car, but now I can see that's a campfire. So the campfire was there when you first got here? Um, yeah. Okay. But there was only a little bit of it. I gotcha. Were you able to see the people around the campfire? No. No? The okay. bus is blocking it. bus is blocking it. Okie dogs. <laughs> You're doing so good. You're if she'd so walk good. down here, she would never leave me. Because this, she's never done anything like this before. But, no. but that's blocked off, so she can't go that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes, and then I found skydive to land. I heard people talking. I followed it, and I went inside. Okay. You came to hang out with us, right? <laughs> because the car was off, Definitely like more completely than off. Minutes. That's good. An hour, maybe. An hour. Maybe. Okay. You thinking more than an hour or less than an hour? No, I think right around an hour. Okay. I don't I don't think it was a ton more than that, right around an hour for yeah. sure. We got her some food and then it was kinda like Yeah, she was living good. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> good thing you called. <laughs> Thank you. You doing good? Mm-hmm. Okay. You wanna hold my hand still? Okay. Um, she has a purse that goes around here, and it's like, um, to here. And then she wears it right mostly around here or here. Mm -hmm. And then she has her phone in it, but she didn't bring her phone, right? Mm -mm, what no, color was her right shirt, there. maybe? Do it you was, know what, what was like, it, like pink, purple? Like a long-sleeved white. Long-sleeved long white? white? Was she wearing pants? Um, no. No? What was she wearing? Um, she was wearing a long sleeve shirt, mm -hmm. and then she wore um, she wore some shorts. Wore some shorts. shorts. Like shorts, like me. Um, yeah. Like this, Pink like black. little shorts, tight yeah. shorts. Yeah. Okay, and a long sleeve white. I know. Shirt. I, I know when I I'll see you because he knows. He knows. Okay. Found her. Multiple questions. Jason's sent a minute out, so I'm assuming he's still coming. <coughs> she uh, was heading back to her car to get her daughter. Where from? Um, another car. Which car? Um, over there. Okay. You realize it's six thirty in the morning, right? I, I do now. And you realize that your daughter, seven? Yes. Seven years old, has been by herself with us. Following an extensive four hour search, law enforcement located Elliot. In response to questioning, she admitted to leaving her child unattended in the car, stating that she had merely intended to meet a friend quickly for a beer. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. That's going to be the best can. way for this situation. Okay, yeah. because you just left your seven year old daughter alone for six hours. Right. You understand that, right? I understand that. So let's be honest with us. When we ask you questions, you answer them completely Most and certainly. truthfully. All right? Most certainly. All right. So after you left the bar, what happened? Not after I left the bar. After I left city limits. Um, after you left city limits? Yes. Tonight? Yes. When were you at city limits tonight? Before they came here. Before yes. they Before came here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I met my friend Renan here. And then... I got it. Is Renan a male or a female? A male. Okay. We've talked to Renan. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> um, with uh, you don't remember you don't remember leaving at all. 
like from here? No. Okay. Um, how long have you known Renan? Um, probably for like, I would say four or five months. What's your guys' relationship? We're friends. Mm -hmm. Do you guys hook up, make out, do any of that? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so, the very last thing you remember, do you remember where you were standing over here? No. No? Um, so, what's your, what's your last memory at this bar? Do you, like, location, like, were you inside, outside? I remember coming to this bar and meeting right on. So you just remember showing up and then, boom, yes. it was done? How much did you have to drink before you came here? Uh, two beers. Two beers? Any mm. prescription drugs? No. Uh, well, suboxone, yes. You took suboxone? Yes. How much you take? Um, one strip a day. Okay. You didn't take anything else? No. Was it prescribed? Yes. So, with your, what kind of beer was it that you drank? Um, it was, I would say equivalent to a yingling. Yingling? So, um, was it a draft bottle? Draft. Draft, okay. Um, aside from, obviously, what you're telling us is you don't remember, all you remember showing up meeting right on, and then that's it from here. Um, who, besides your daughter, were you at City Limits with? That's it. Just your daughter? Mm -hmm. You guys weren't were having dinner with anybody else or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Um, all right. Um, <coughs> so, you when don't you know. Met Renan, was it out here or was it inside? It was inside. But he was already here waiting on you? Yes, he was already here. Did he have your beer waiting for you when you got here? No. Or you ordered it when you got here? I ordered it when I got here. And then from the time that you got him to here, did you ever leave that beer unattended? Go to the Absolutely. bathroom or do whatever? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Stupidly, yes. I lived here my whole life. Um, I'm 35 years old. I grew up in the land. Um, this is a place that I trust. Um, so, yeah. Have you ever used in the past? I have. Um, I'm an ex IV addict. Um, but uh, I've been sober now from IV drugs for five years. When was the last time you used? It's been five years. It's been five years? Mm -hmm. So you didn't know D back in January? January? Of this year? That there's a Volusia County Sheriff's Office report about? Yes, I absolutely did. Okay, so the last time you used was January? Yes. Okay, so again. The incident led to Elliot's arrest, drawing attention to concerns about parental responsibility and child safety. I just, I mean, this is, it's for your protection and ours, okay? So it's just to, you know, just to protect you and, and your rights, because if we ask you questions and you lie, well, now you just committed perjury. Right. Okay. We ask you questions and you tell us something that lead us to see that you're a victim of something, which is what I was trying to allude to earlier when I was asking those questions, to see if maybe you are a victim right. of something. Right. I know? mean, I've never... If somebody drugged you or something like that. I've never been... Okay. This so after three drinks. So I, I am... Have no idea. Trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes, sir. All right. Because me as a parent... I have a son, and I would never, in my right mind, do right. anything like that. I mean, I have a so, DCF case, you know what I mean? Like, I, I would never, you know what I mean? But I, I, I honestly, officer, I, I have no idea how I got to this point. Literally, you know what I mean? Like, what woke me up is your all's bright lights, you know? Like, I, I, I've never been, like, I mean, all I drink was beer. I, I had three beers. So... I remember getting here, I remember having a beer, and then that's it. I don't know how I woke up in a car that looks like mine. I mean, it's very similar to mine. Um, and leaving my daughter, you know. It was supposed to be just a very brief 
interaction, and then I'm supposed to walk out. And then, so I have to ask, yes, sir. not wearing any shoes, which is fine. I mean, I people don't wear no shoes on. But your flip-flops are in your car, so yes, did you go into the bar with no shoes on? Uh, I mean, I had to have, um, but like I said, it was supposed to be a, a very brief interaction. Uh, so I mean, I've never been in this bar. The case underscores the importance of ensuring the well-being of children and the potential legal consequences when parental decisions compromise the safety of minors. Yes, this was awfully disturbing. Now let's see how this woman will behave upon being caught for DUI. A routine speeding traffic stop escalating into a DUI arrest when a woman, displaying signs of intoxication, became uncooperative. The police officers conducting the stop promptly detected a potent smell of alcohol emanating from the driver. Have we had anything to drink today? No. No. Our you... ax just left us. He's actually like en route. Huh? Our ax boyfriend. Okay. Your ax? Kind of. So how much have we had to drink today? Nothing. Nothing? So why are we speeding? I'm doing 45. And you're coming up on me like I'm standing still in a 35 mile an hour zone. You have your ID on you? Of course I do. Do you want my passport or which one do you want? Mm. No attitude. <laughs> no, I'm being honest. You want to call Katie? You want me to call Kevin? Or Tammy? 4113, call. No, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm calling Diane Quinn. Actually, I don't care who you're calling. Come on. Okay. Don't touch me. Um, I'm going to yank it out and I'm going to yank you out if you don't come out on your own. Just don't give me f touch my shit. Let's go. Record him. Record him. I got it. Decide. She's refusing to come out. I'm not refusing anything. Give me the cigarette. No, I want to smoke a cigarette. I'm fine. I'm actually. Alright, put, put, no, put the cigarette down. Can I please? No, put the cigarette down. Come on. Aaron, come on. Please. Ma'am, you need to listen please. to him. Let's go. Please. Alright, watch out. Please. Over here. We're going to close the door. Listen, ma'am, we're going over here, all right? Go with that, Jackie. I'm going to stay here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. It's like fucking Chicago, except Chicago. Right above here for me. Shot. Actually, cops get shot, which sucks. All right, so have we had anything to drink today? No. No? So why are you slurring? Why am I slurring? Because our, my boyfriend actually jumped out of the car about 20 miles back. So if I'm a little bit upset and I'm also in school for nursing and I'm only schooling to. a child at the time and my ex took three of my kids to Chicago. 41, 13, not two, Florida so. deal. Good for you. Go ahead, you can actually verify all that. You want help? No, I'm aware. Despite attempts to engage the driver in sobriety tests, she exhibited non-compliance, leading to her arrest for DUI. Going away. Void cards actually in my uh, window. My boyfriend never jumps out of the car. We might have been All right, do you me a favor. Take your hat off for me. Come on up over here, so we're out of the road. All right, so like I told you my wife, uh, when I drove up, you drove up on me like I was standing still. Talking to you inside the car, you got slurred speech. I don't have slurred speech. You have to understand okay. everything that I've been through. And three of my kids are in Chicago because my ex took them, and we have therapy. We actually have. Therapy. Okay, well I'm not. I'm out. I'm not Every here Wednesday, for that. You know uh, what? Have we had anything no to drink? No worries, no worries. That's not your fucking problem. Nope, it's I not. Get it. So do me a favor. Go ahead and put your hands at your sides. Do you want me to do a freaking backflip? I'll do that for you. All right. So with your eyes and eyes only, what you can do is you can keep an eye on this blue light. All right. I, uh, so hands at your sides. It's not even gonna happen. So how much have we had to drink tonight? Nothing. I Nothing? I actually have, actually, I 
actually I have my prescription with my contacts if you want Good. to go check it out. Because that's actually a written doctor's note. So if you want to sit there, we can play that game. All right. So where are we coming from? Where am I coming from? Cotton, thank you. My aunt's house in Key West. She's a doctor. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and play this game. All right, so based on your driving pattern, well, not really, I didn't really have a driving pattern, but just, you just have to based on your, okay, well, good. I don't care about your boyfriend right now. It doesn't matter based on your so, slurred speech, I'm thinking thing. you're, you're under the inf you. influence of alcohol. With you. Good. I, I, I think trained. you're under the influence of alcohol. Do you want to participate in uh, field sobriety exercises? No, I don't have to. Okay. Sorry, okay. Chicago okay. taught me better. So she is the registered owner, not valid. The arrest unfolded as a consequence of the driver's disrespectful behavior toward the officers and her refusal to cooperate with their directives. Cooperated with you. You have no idea what the hell we Okay, just I'm not here for what's and going on today. 25 minutes, you want to sit there and say I've been drinking. I will sit there and do handstands. I don't care about your handstands. Do you, you. Want to do, do you want to do field sobriety exercises? Yes I can no? do a field sobriety that you can Pass. Okay, so do you want to do, do you want to do uh, field sobriety exercises? Yes or no? What do you want me to do? It's a yes or no answer. What do you want me to do? Yes or no answer. Answer my question. No, you answer mine. That's not how this game works. No, sir, that's not how it works. Yes, that is exactly how this works. It's a yes or no answer. Do you wish to participate in field sobriety exercises? I want to call my grandpa. So, oh, my yes or no? Yes or no? Do you want? I'm sorry, if someone's drunk, can they do that? Probably not, right? So, yes or no? Call my grandpa right now. So, yes or no? Please. Thank you. Yes or no? No, don't worry, someone's about to show up. All right, Aaron. So, just based off your uh, your your coming up on me, you know, like I was standing still, your slurred speech. I believe you're running uh, under the influence of alcohol. Not even slurred speech. Okay. There's a lot of other shit going really? on. Really? Like your ex was an ax. Like three of my kids are in Chicago. All right. So just like we did before, what you can do is you can stand with your feet together, your hands at your sides. All right. So with your right index finger, it's going to be this finger right here. You're going to touch the top of this light. Touch the top of the light. All right, put your hand back down. Okay, the feet together, your hands at your sides. You're gonna follow this light that you just touched with your index finger. Okay. Without moving your head, do you understand? All right, put your hand back down. All right, so with your eyes and your eyes only, do not move your head. Follow this light with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand? Yep. Keep your head still. I have too much going through my mind. Hands at your feet together and hands at your sides. Yeah, you're my side. I'm gonna do a backflip because I can do that. Stand right there, just like I told you. Put the left foot on the line, your right foot in front. The incident highlights the swift transition from a routine traffic stop to a DUI arrest based on observable signs of impairment and non compliance with law enforcement directives showcasing the challenges officers face in ensuring road safety. Yeah. Hmm. Should we do black All right. Are you ready for me to begin? Okay, so right back to where you were with your left foot on the line, your right foot in front of it. When I tell you, you're gonna take nine heedle to toe steps. You're gonna go, you know, go all the way down, and you're gonna count up to nine. When you get down to your ninth step, you're going to you're going to take your lead foot. The body cam footage serves as a crucial record of the events, offering insight into the circumstances surrounding the arrest and emphasizing the importance of cooperation during traffic stops. Can you do me a favor? Just listen. Just stop what you're doing and listen. Happy, 
verbal and what you want. What you I'll want. take my taker. Why don't you actually show me there what you, you want? And I will do that. Right, come yeah. here, I got another, I got an easier one for you. No. I yes, said, yes, yes. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Roxanne! I told you to show me what you want. 41-13. Female on arrest for DUI. Do you have any guns, knives, hand grenades, explosives, and certain devices on you? No, I got a black in my fucking seat, so you're lucky there. You have a gun in the seat? No, sir. You just said you did. Safe. I said I got a black in my seat. You're oh. welcome. Said Actually, from Sergeant <laughs> Nick Whitehead, but Holy you're welcome. Parts, yeah, that's what I was... Ah, no, sorry. Do you have any drugs on you? Nope. Alright, so this is what I'm going to tell you. If you have any drugs or any, any illegal substances on you, but when we get to where we're going, if you have anything, it's going to be an introduction of contraband. Do you understand? No, honestly, 